as we talk boxing. When is Conor Ben ever going to engage in a meaningful fight? Conor Ben uh, going to be fighting again this weekend over in the USA. He can fight anywhere in the world but the UK. Of course, he was going to fight Chris Eubank uh, Jr., but that was called off because of the failed drugs test. Is that fight ever going to happen? Simon, I'm thrilled to, to say that Chris Eubank Sr. joins us live in studio. Chris, how are you? Excellent. Wonderful. Thank you. Rastafari. Reach dreadlocks. Okay, so that fight is... Uh, I mean, they're still talking about it. It doesn't, it doesn't make sense how they would even think about actually putting so much money and energy into actually producing another fight like it, knowing that I said it's not going to happen. And the reason it's not going to happen, now I can actually speak on, on hardcore facts. My son is now walking around at 13.5. That's 187 pounds. So for him to lose 27 pounds to get down to middleweight... It's a lot on it. See, you know, the way you, you know, it's like, oh, love and... It's like, a lot, isn't it? No, but you, you, the, the way you said that, it's like you're having a cup of tea and you're just having a bit of banter. No, this it's is, a lot. I'm but agreeing this, with you. This is a man's yeah. life. Yeah, I'm agreeing it's with you. It's a man's life. He'll never get down to that weight again, ever. At 159, you saw him, emaciated, as you said, Simon. So that's out of the window. He was better when he thought Liam... I mean, he didn't look emaciated when he fought Liam's second fight, though, did he? I, 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 I'm going to say, okay, just get past that. Yeah. You know, if uh, those promoters want to actually invest in promoting my name for another six months or another year, let me thank you first and foremost for the first time. If you want to do that again, please be my guest. Well, this, this is the point. My son is now walking around at 13 stones five. That's 187 pounds. So literally he can't get down, literally. Okay, and such a big build-up or expose on the Eubanks, he's not, you know, I, let's get to the point. Canelo is the only person he's going to be able to fight now to redeem any type of respect from the, the, the fighting public. I mean, talking about real fighters, real boxing people. Who, your son yeah. or Connor? No, 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 my son. Your son got a lot of respect back after beating Liam Smith in the second fight, though, didn't he? Yeah, well, you know, that's... Not me talking. I mean, I I know how you win respect. Okay? No, fair and it's, enough. And it's, it's not beating a Liam Smith who stopped you. So I don't want to get into that, Junior. This is what my view is. Uh, your saving grace is going to be Canelo. That's it. Period. You're never going to get down back down to one sixty. I wouldn't. I won't allow that to happen anyway. Uh, and when you're walking around at 13 stones 5, you're not going to get down. So you're a 168 fighter. Canelo is your way out or the way to win respect. And you cannot beat him. Not Canelo. The only way you can beat him is if daddy is next to you. That's it. Period. Uh, that's an American term for full stop. Is there anything else to say? No. <laughs> there isn't. Well, only, so only, only that. Only that. Yeah. Uh, that's a done deal. Now, 147 fights 147. Now, you know, there's only one undefeated Eubank left, and that's Harlem. 19 fights, 19 wins, okay? I've heard Connor talking about... Uh, uh, he's talking about all of the top fighters in the world. I mean, I'm talking about Crawford. How, do you, mm -hmm. how are you talking like that? What have you done? Well, look, you know, my son, my surrogate son... He wants to go and conquer the world too. So this is the fight that I stand for. Whoever wins this particular fight, Conor Ben versus Harlem the Gold Eubank, whoever wins that fight, goes ahead and then conquers the world. That can be your, let's say, your prize. But, you know, Conor talking about Crawford, what are you talking about? Okay. You, haven't, you haven't, I mean, it seems to me as I go back and look, I'm the only one giving him credibility. I don't believe he had anything to do with being juiced up. He got juiced up. Uh, his team juiced him up, whoever they are. That's my view. I don't think he had anything They'll to do with it. They'll have a different view on that, of course. Uh, I, and I don't yeah. mind them coming. Yeah. You know what? Please come mm. and talk to me. Because if you do, then we can get more things it, out in the open. Hold on. Hold yeah. on. We can get more things out in the open. That's one. Two, where uh, Harlem is concerned, He's 19 fights. He's unbeaten. He's the Eubank that you want. So this promoter, who is somehow got him as some type of 
He's not doing anything. He's in no man's the land. E- and now he's fighting a guy called Pete Dobson. Yeah. Who is this guy? Just I'm t- looking at him. Hold on. Hold on. Over, I'm first. looking at him, this, this Dobson, and I'm looking at... I'm looking at... Uh, you know, back in the day, they used to use a term. Okay. Oh, I think uh, they may have dug that one up. He may still be warm. That's the type of fighter he's fighting. I don't disrespect him, but I'm talking about how the game goes. <laughs> right. They dug him up, okay, and he is still warm, okay? okay? That's how they talk about the Pete Dobson of my era, which is why I don't speak about Mr. But you, Smith. But you know the economics of how this You're works. Again, no, uh, uh, no, 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 but let's be no, real. Let's not be no, idealistic. No, no, no I can't look at the economics, because if I look at the economics, but then you're they, bringing me into the world of cheats. No, no, but no. I can't do that, not, not with my okay. nephew, who is my son, and not with my son... Who's junior? But in order I can't to, get in, into in order the to economics. The fight, the, they're talking about Harlan, right? Yeah. And the idea that Connor fights Harlan. Yeah. Whether you like it or you don't like it, and mm. I know that you believe that you are you were instrumental in stopping the first fight. It wasn't just that Connor failing a uh, drug, yeah. um, drug test. It was you, your will, right? And so it's proven to be the case they haven't <laughs> fought. But to get Harlan yeah. in the ring with Connor, yes. the economics will dictate not your will and not your wishes. Whether Hearn and his gang, that I know that you have respect for, but don't like the way they're operating in certain respects with your son. If the economics aren't there, you're not getting Harlan and Connor Ben in the ring. Why, Anytime soon. And why wouldn't the economics be there? Why would they? Why would they? Because I'm standing with him. Uh-huh. Yeah, me. So it's about you. Uh, now, now get this clear. Yes. Okay. okay it's you about ha- you. You, ha- you have to have a promoter. You have to have a face that draws... I've made hundreds of millions of pounds for Sky Television. Hundreds of millions of pounds for ITV. Hundreds, it said, hundreds of millions of pounds... For matchroom. Who put them there? Who do you think put them there? I'm not bigging myself up. 1994, I, know, I, I brought I, I Barry Hearn into Sky. They gave me an eight-fight deal. How do you think the fishing? How do you think the darts? How do you think he rose in matchroom? You have to have someone to bring you in. <laughs> yeah, look, pundit, right. Yes, okay. good luck. Right, that's great. Yeah, but, but, it, it, may, but, I, it may be great. But, you but, say so. But, it's also, but you're, you're, everyone, but you're, it's, everyone's a catalyst and everyone finds their levels. And I'm so, so suspect mm. that Barry Home was also instrumental in some of the successes you had alongside your of talent. Of course he was. Right. Okay. Only here's the difference, okay? Yeah. He got me. I didn't get part of Matchroom. But, but let me tell you what. Yeah. In my view, Matchroom, you think any of those guys... The CEOs and you think these chairmen, you think they could have a position if I didn't, if I wasn't there at that time, I couldn't have done what I did without Barry Hearn. Yes. Okay. Okay. Mutual um, benefit. Yeah. But, but so you're saying, Chris, that your name is the reason that Harlem, your nephew, should go in against Conor Ben. Well, let me tell you what. What what person on earth who watches boxing is not going to take? Is not, who's not going to buy a pay per view if I am with Harlem? I'm telling you that he beats Conor Ben. He beats him. Okay, that means I put my reputation by him, behind him. That means the, the hundreds of millions of, pow- uh, of pounds I've made for these networks, th- that person is sitting next to him. What I, if it can't I, happen here in the UK? I, uh, what if it can't? Mm. Uh, this is what I would say to that. Mm. Where his license is concerned, I get involved, I get his license back. He, but, but in doing so, I'm going to have to actually... I'm going to have to... You get Ben's license back? Yeah. How are you going to do that? Uh, I know the boss. I'm very close to the boss. Yeah, I mean, Robert Smith is a sensible man, but the point is... I'm not is... talking about Robert Smith. Okay, who, who are you talking about then? I can't tell you. Okay. All right, well, we're, we're, and, and, we're trying and to work on back. Follows, so I'm trying, I'm trying follows, to think who you may be talking hold, about. Hold on, hold but this on. is it a public follows, domain matter it now, fo- isn't it? It follows what I said about the fight not happening the first time. Again, everyone seems to forget... That I said what I said. And in fact, think of it. If I've made all this money for all these networks, Matchroom, Sky, ITV, you know, you've seen what happens when I come into the studio. Credibility. You see, how did I get that credibility? It's being honest. It's being honest. Well, your achievements. And, your, your achievements. Yeah, but the, the but achievements. Can, I, think, I think we should be honest as well. You had when, no achievements. We should be honest as well, though, Chris. Should Harlem get the fight... Should not on your on the back of your name. Should he not get the fight on merit on his yes, own merit? He's, and I'm and that's exactly what I'm saying. He's 19 fights unbeaten on on merit and merit alone. He should have that fight. Why okay. should it be given to somebody else? Okay. So uh, after or, he fights or, Dobson, you yeah. think Conor Ben should fight your nephew Harlem Eubank? Yes. 
Yes, I do. And then the winner of that fight then can go and clean up the world. And I know it's me. You know, I, I, read, I read a comment the other day. It went something as follows. You know, I love the relationship between uh, Eubank Jr. and Eubank Sr. Jr., silent and deadly. He's a killer. He doesn't say anything. And the dad comes in strutting. He's, he's rolling his shoulders. He's dancing. He's reciting poetry. It's the perfect combination. And that's what Harlem now has with his dad, his surrogate dad. So, you know, as much as you may not like uh, the control that I say I have on this... I don't have a view on it. Well, well, you, you have one now. I just, I would I like... Don't. I don't. I don't have a view on it. Well, this is the narrative. I have a view on whether the fight can be made. Okay. And whether, why and can't it be made? They're both 147. Uh, but, uh, and well, and I, as I'll I tell said, you the reasons Junior why. is now walking around at 187 well, pounds. It is but, madness. But let's move. The, I've always been in total agreement with you. You that, have, huh? A total agreement with you. And you'll have never... You? No, I've always been in total agreement with you. Either you haven't listened... <laughs> or, or I haven't made it clear. I've always been in total agreement with at you about that. At the end of our interview, I, I when like, we last had that interview never, on your show up front, don't point you Chris, said that's rude. You, you said like this. So you're going to stop it? Are you? How are you going to do that? Because I thought what you were saying was ridiculous, and, yes, I, still, and I, know, I still do. Yeah. So okay. So now, now, now the third face yeah. or the second face shows. No, it doesn't. It's the same yes, face. it does. You, it, no, so you, just don't like what, you, you just don't like what I'm saying. Well, earlier on, well, Chris, you said if it you know, make I sense. have never agreed. Hang on, Jim. It, I have never agreed. I have never agreed that your son should be fighting Conor Ben. Never agreed with that. Now we move on to the Harlan Conor Ben fight. Never. I thought it was a bad fight for both of them. I thought all they were doing was trading you off said your. To me, no. how are you going to stop it? No, no to be fair, I've heard them say that. But that's two different things, Chris. You're conflating two different arguments. My point is, is the is the Harlan um, fight, Harlan Eubank fight against Conor Ben doesn't happen for two reasons. The economics aren't there. You may think that you can get them, and Conor Ben has a serious problem about being, over to, uh, being able to overcome the British Boxing Board of Control's wishes because they've gone public domain with it. Now, I hope he does. Then, if he does. Then we can have that conversation. Okay. But at no point Economics. have I ever said that your son should fight Conor Ben at one sixty. I thought it was a freak show of a fight. Always thought it was. Well, it doesn't so seem listen. to me that you have been. Well, listen then, because I've said it repeatedly, and we've discussed it repeatedly, you and I, on two separate occasions. No, we haven't discussed well, you it haven't repeatedly. And Most again, repeatedly. again, I say to you, you know, you talk out of two sides of your face. No, I don't. One <laughs> straight down the line, like you. Straight down the line. Don't I, need to. I know. I know what you are. You don't. Okay, I am not. Dis I haven't been. I'm a journalist. Last time I you saw me, apparently, according to you. Listen to what he's Chris, saying. Chris, look at me. Hold on a We're, minute. What, here, what, here what he is, is he then? Here. What is he? Two faced according Ask to him. Ask him. He what says, is he? He says he's not a journalist. Never mind him. You you said you know what he is. What is he? He's a journalist. <laughs> He's a journalist and a journalist trying to actually get traction. I'm going to go and have a wash now. In attraction, he's trying to get traction in the world of I'm, gladiators. I, I'm climbing and, on the shoulders and, of giants. Yes, you are. Don't be so bloody silly. I don't need you explain, for anything. Explain that. I don't need you. I didn't or say you needed for me. anything. I didn't say you needed. So I don't me. climb on anyone's shoulders. So if you're going to make specific observations about people, be right. I am right. right. You're not right. You're not right. Hold on. If you're saying you're not a journalist, then either I don't know what the word journalist means, or you are deluded. Or both. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, both. No, Chris, oh, what both. we can do is this. Is he a journalist? You, you, you said it. You said no, 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 said, no. I'm please. a journalist. He's a no, journalist. No. So what is he, Tony? A pundit. A entrepreneur, a businessman. Like yourself. He is in... He, he paid me money to... He paid me money to come to a studio and sit down and have an interview. Well, he didn't He's do it a personally. Huh? You no, were paid to go I, there and be interviewed by Simon. We had a chat. So, you had a chat. We had a chat. So, but Simon we, didn't pay we, you. Who... So, so it was as on, far as I got on whose account was it? On whose account was I there? <laughs> Simon, no, Simon. I have no idea. Simon, I'm sorry to be the first one to tell you and, you know, you know they do the pronoun thing. I ain't doing that. You are Thank a journalist. You. Thank you. You interview What's people. What's to do with it? I have a discussion with you. Not an interview. We that have a discussion. Mean, no, you're a journalist. Then, okay. You know, we'll get, we're getting get 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 hung up on something. Like the you're... fact of the matter is, Chris, earlier on you said Conor Ben's uh, people had juiced him up. We, we've, got, we've got to say that Conor Ben's people are not here uh, to answer for themselves, so we need to make that I'm clear. I'm willing that's to your, come back that, on this show at I know any you point are. with I know you them. Are. That's to, your, well, what happened? That's your How assertion. How did that happen? But meantime, Eddie Hearn appears to think that it could still happen, a fight between Conor and Chris Eubank Jr., and, and we'll, I, hear a bit, we'll hear a bit more about that as we take a sharp intake of breath. 